this drum box ukulele comes in a neat box and it is a very unusual the actual body here appears to be made of a special type of cardboard um, but it has a very heavy um, piece of wood that goes right through it and you can see these two f-shaped sound holes 15 frets it has the same scale length as a conventional um, ukulele which would be not the smallest ukulele um, which is called a soprano ukulele but the next one up a concert ukulele yes yeah, so it has the same scale length as a concert ukulele and on the back as if you want to show you it, it looks like it is wood but it, but this is like special reinforced cardboard with a, like a, a plastic coating now the actual wood it's made of it looks like it might be something like maple or something like that it's a very light grained wood it's very solid and it looks very comfortable the neck for playing and it has the machine heads here which are geared machine heads and they look very well constructed although it says that there is some self-construction the only self-construction I can see that you need to do is to put the strings on and you get four strings and tune it up but the, the, the actual bridge itself is supplied as well the kit includes instructions a wonderful booklet but when you install the strings it tells you to do them in this order string four which is this one here string three string two and string one and it gives you the string numbers on the packet of strings okay and this outline here on the top of the strum box is where you put the actual bridge and the bridge comes in the box and it looks like so and on the bridge there the saddle are here you can see they've got indentations for each of the strings to go on okay now it's beautifully made and when I looked at the frets these frets look like they're they are made of proper alloy um, which the same sort of thing you use on high quality guitars a sort of a nickel alloy and it's beautiful smooth grained wood and if I show you a bit of a close-up with my video camera here you can see how beautifully machined it is so the Strumbox ukulele is not made um, with the cheapest of materials it's made with very high quality materials and the tuning heads beautifully um, set, sit and as I showed you before properly geared as well okay the strings that are supplied look of good quality and as I said before um, I've removed one of them but they have the actual um, correct label on them to tell you which string they are for instance there's your second string there and there's four strings supplied all you have to do is tie a knot towards the end of the string and feed the string through the cut holes they've already made for you and this is beautiful you get a cd rom and this has all sorts of lessons on it but it also contains a code so you can go online and get advanced lessons but within the book itself um, you've got all sorts of information here and it tells you exactly um, here's the list of contents you've got how to prepare the ukulele tuning it and it's got tuning tracks on it chord diagrams how to keep time different strumming patterns chord changes how to amplify it because it has got a pickup okay it shows you the playing position I'll just flick through you a diagram there of the actual um, electric strum box ukulele with a name for all the parts and an explanation there okay how to construct it telling you the string numbers etc whether you're left-handed or right-handed um, tying the little knots in the strings and feeding them up through the cut holes there tying and also connecting them up to the tuning pegs there okay um, also it's got uh, ways and ways that you should tune it properly and then tie um, tie the you know at the at the end you can knit the strings there correctly how to install the bridge saddle um, correctly and when to install it and also tips on playing playing the ukulele, ukulele. you will you can have your own tune it, tuning for a ukulele but it also gives you a tuning track um, different styles of playing ukulele finger picking styles um, left hand using your left hand to make chords um, position of thumb correct or incorrupt um, advanced right hand techniques um, chucking or chunking using a plectrum or a pick palm muting 
um, chords, chord diagrams, um, all sorts of common ukulele chords are given in the book. Using a timing, various apps you can download, chord changes and progression, strumming patterns, lessons. Okay, and then it gives you all the songs and this beautiful selection of traditional songs uh, that you can play along to. Um, just a selection with the lyrics and the chord changes, okay? And then you, you also get a code. Well, of course, I won't show you my code. And so that's what's included within the box. So I'm going to start putting this together, and let's see what it sounds like. And also, because it's an electric ukulele, um, just bring it back to the ukulele, it's got a socket here, okay? And you will need to supply your own pickup um, cable and your own this lamp. And, and I think the pickup somewhere just... You can see a little bump there. Uh, there'll be a pickup on on it. Beautifully crafted a little instrument. Now, if you want to play this ukulele um, electric style, which is fantastic because it gives you that really sort of authentic bluesy sound, you'll need to have your own little amplifier. I just happen to have a couple of amplifiers. This is a good suitable one, a honey tone one. Um, this has got various controls on it because you can control the various things like its uh, tone. Uh, it's got an overdrive on off volume that runs on one nine volt battery um, This one here is because I just happen to have a Hannah Montana Little electric guitar. I think it's the Telecaster one um, that would this would also work well for the ukulele that's got a belt clip on it and again You can see it takes what well, it takes a nine volt battery you have to slide a control there and the guitar sorry ukulele input would be there of course that works for guitars and you'll need your own normal um, lead, your own mono lead such as this one here. Okay, so they're extras. You don't have to have them because you could also just use it without a pickup, but, but um, that's if you want to make it play a So first things first, this is the, the string, uh, string number four and as you can see there I've just tied a conventional knot towards the end of the string and the idea is the other end of the string you feed it underneath this hole here okay and then it goes all the way up the ukulele it's got 15 frets did i mention that um right over the guide here which is here at the nut end okay there's a groove for it there and it goes to this this tuning peg here and i tend to if it's me i tend to put it through bring it back on itself underneath itself and over to make a little loop and then tune it and tighten it to make a little sort of um well it sort of catches on itself better okay you may well have a different method but they give you a method in the booklet but that's how i'm going to do, I'm going to do all four of them so once you've done the first string then you put this um bridge stroke saddle the here but don't tighten the tighten the four string too much and then put the string over it and then tighten that gently okay at the other end then you get carry on with all the other strings okay and that as i say that that earlier this is the position of where the strings are going to go over for the bridge stroke saddle and that's got indentations in it for each string as you hopefully can see sort of show you from this angle there you go okay, so here's string four as it's called which is uh, there's the knot. I fed it through this hole here. Okay, little one here. It's coming all the way along here, all up this beautiful uke. Okay, and into its correct tuning peg here. Okay, so here we have the first string you put on, which is string four. You make sure that you turn the tuning peg so that little hole in the tuning peg faces down the ukulele. And I brought the string through. Now to hold the string better, this is what I do. If you take the string back okay and then feed it underneath itself right grab hold of the end i'm going underneath the string okay put one finger on the string to hold it you make a loop quite a tight loop and then bring the string back on itself again can you see that right okay now i turn it anti-clockwise and as i turn it anti-clockwise anti-clockwise being towards me from where i am it should start to bite on itself okay and i can feel it biting as in grabbing itself and you can see it's going to start coming back onto the tuning peg and that's how I string it okay once it's made a firm grip you don't need to tune it anymore leave it that's the first one and I will do all of the strings in this way so the next string I'll do if you go down to there well I'll put a knot on the end of the other one and feed it up through this hole here coming up and that string will go to this tuning peg okay and then the next one which is string two will go all the way up the ukulele 
It's a lovely ukulele, isn't it? A beautiful colouring will go to this tuning peg here, okay? And then the, the string one will go to up, a knot on the end of it up through there, all the way along the ukulele will then go to this tuning peg here. So that's the order of how you put them on. And that's how I hold them with a little knot, okay? Now, with the instructions you get with this ukulele, once I've put this one on, you're supposed to gently lift it up. I haven't put it tight. Okay, get your get this bridge and put it onto the correct place and there's markings for it. I, won't, I mean, you can move it slightly, obviously, and adjust it over. It's not the end, is it? Uh, and hold it like that. And so when I do the second one, I, I can then feed it over this bridge. Okay, and so on and so on. Okay? Once the first string that you put in um, is in place, you're supposed to um, set your bridge and saddle. And as you can see, there's four little spikes, two at each end, which are all slightly offset. And it has a template center bridge within the outline. So turn it round, okay. Now, very carefully, make sure it's within the, within the little guides, as, as square as you can, as accurately as you can, okay. And they're supposed to press it to let the spikes set, okay. Then you've got your bridge stroke saddle on correctly, okay? So press the spikes in, let's press them hard. Not too hard, I'm not gonna break it, but I'm just gonna press them in so that they bite, okay? On the top, that side, and this side, okay? And I can feel that they've gripped then, okay? Then this string here can then go over to its correct place, okay? That's done. Okay, the four strings of ukulele are from this fourth, third, second, first, G, C, K, E, and A. I'm doing this next one here, which is an order, it's the third string, a C string. This is a C string, okay? Now, it's a thicker string, so it's harder to do a knot. So what I'm doing is I've tied a little knot, I'm just going to use my little crafting um, pliers here, a multi-tool, now just gently hold the end of it, okay, because I don't, I, I can't do this myself, and just bring that knot, okay? Just gentle like that. Do you see that? Okay? That's a little tip from me, okay? So now I can bring this string right up, okay, to here, and then across over the bridge saddle thing here, okay? Up to this end, the bit, up to this business end, okay, over the nut, okay, and it goes through the little hole, see that little hole there, okay, of the tuning peg, right, and that's where it goes over this part of the, this groove here. And again, I do the same as I did with the fourth string. I bring the string round like so, and I go bring it back on itself in a loop, okay, like that. Do you see that? It's gone back and then over the top of itself, hold it, okay, and I've made a little loop over it, and then start turning the string anti-clockwise, which is towards me, okay, because I'm at this end of the ukulele. doesn't matter if the string wanders a bit, because it's going to, okay, you can hold it down with one finger if you like, and keep turning, and eventually you'll feel it, it will bite, it'll start to take up the slack, okay? It's just a good way, just the way I put strings on, which gives them a little bit more uh, grip onto the actual tuning peg, okay? A lot thicker string, this one, as you can see, okay? And then it'll, it'll take a bit more of a twist, okay? Slowly, well, I can feel now, as you can see, it's starting to take up, take up the tension. Right, there we go. That's better, okay? And it's over there but it's not obviously tuned to concert pitch but there's four string and third string so I'll just carry on the next string I'll do will be this one here which is the second string and the second string feeds all the way up here and goes to this tuning peg here okay once you've got all your four strings on your ukulele then what you need to do is to tighten them gently the this string here which is string number four to tighten it, you turn this way okay can you see I'm turning it this way but gently the next string along, which is the third string, you tighten it again in the same way, that way, but don't over tighten. You've got a tuning track, okay? When it comes to the other strings, which are on the other side of the ukulele, okay, if I want to tighten this one here on the top, I need to turn it so that this, this goes on to the string here, so I need to turn it this way, okay? Like that, that's towards me. Can you see? And that's tightening it. 
and this also this first string here the same way tying it that way and that's feeding so that the actual tuning peg is going around okay and you can also see where it's taking up the tension underneath the tuning peg there okay where the loop will take up the tension okay you might find with the first string that's the last one you put on that one knot isn't enough because when I put one knot on it just went straight through the little string guide so I put an extra knot on this one okay because when I tensioned it up it seemed to be just a knot quite enough to hold it because you can as you can see on this strum box you can lay the knots uh, here they're held here okay so might be worth putting an extra knot on the thinnest string that string once you've done a rough tuning of your strum box ukulele, this tuning goes as follows. For the fourth string, which is this one here, that's G. Okay, then you've got a C, then you've got an E, and then you've got an A. If you get a rattle in your strings, my top tip for you is, if you've got yourself a conventional pencil, pencil that is made of graphite, what you should do is, where the rattle is, this I had a rattle on this string here, the... Um, C string so I lifted the string up out of its string guide and as you can see I've put a load of um, graphite a pencil into sharpen it put it along there on the nut okay and that might be the cause of the rattle this is even used by guitar players when they have the strange rattles as well when they're playing live they use a pencil lead so that's a top tip for me that stopped a horrible rattle on this string so there you go now what I've had to do to fix this strum box ukulele has been quite hard work. I've had to use a Stanley knife and a uh, craft knife, thin one, to cut these grooves a lot deeper and I'm basically at a 45 degree angle I've been shaving it down to take the action right down onto this saddle, okay? Because it just isn't playable unless you do that. And if, it, if I've had a slight rattle, I've used a, a, an, a, an ordinary graphite pencil in there to stop the string from snagging and from buzzing. Okay. At the top end, the nut end, it's even worse with this one. You can see this string here, which is the second string. Okay. I've had to use a lot of graphite in there, pencil lead. And I've taken them down, the action right down. Because you need to be able to fret here, you see on these strings here on your your g c e and a strings uh, g c e and a okay uh, well uh, straight out of the box it's unplayable no one can play this instrument straight out of the box so it needs setting up that said once you've actually set the instrument up it's very very playable and fantastic for very sort of quick fast strums and easily playable and, and I can see this working with other instruments such as guitars very well because it is amplified and the pickup we believe seems to be situated somewhere around there it's in a bit of a bump there underneath bearing in mind this is made of some sort of cardboard this material but this material here is beautiful and the frets to me look like they're nickel and they're beautifully set so that it is in tone and the intonation's brilliant on, on it okay so basically on any particular string It's, it's, it is an octave. So you can hear that, it's okay. And the tone, whilst not as bright as other ukuleles, it is an electric ukulele, don't forget. So it does amp up more thing um, it doesn't come with a strap and one other person reviewed it said that they wouldn't recommend putting one of these strap end pins in but I ignored that and I did it very carefully all I used was a very small Phillips screwdriver and this came this actually came actually this end pin came with this ukulele strap which I ordered online um, and basically it was a good deal and and also came with cord at the other end of the ukulele here and as you can see I've wrapped it round twice um, just get that out of the way so you can see it between the two sets of tuning um, heads and um, they are geared tuning heads so very very good quality but you need to allow at least three or four days for these strings to settle um, don't expect the ukulele to play in tune for the first two or three days because because the strings you've only just strung it okay that's that that in that in mind it's very good fun and I'm not a ukulele player myself but get 
the picture, don't you? There you go, it's fun. Once you've got this ukulele set up, this SBU Strumbox ukulele set up, you might want to start playing it first using their little guidebook. And here we have the Strumbox ukulele plugged in.